Good morning, all. I wrap Stain with your financial market news flash video, and this is for Wednesday. And we're at the 11th of January, 2023, just getting out of 6 p.m. Central Time. I'm early as I'm scheduled to leave Chicago today. Uh, one hour ago, the FAA grounded all aircraft in the United States. I do not know if I'll be going anywhere. We are waiting for it. Having been a, a pilot, I have my single engine license. I, I can tell you what, what it comes down to. It's restarting the computers, get everything back in sync, see what got knocked out of the sequence, how they work them back in. It's gonna be a, a mess at the airport. Uh, we don't know if we're leaving or not leaving. It's that simple, but I'm still gonna get these out. I'll be prepared to go. I'll wait for the updates, and if I don't get them, I'll head to the airport, and if I have to turn around, I turn around. There's not much more you can do. If it takes a day of my trip away, say, so be it. I'll go, maybe I'll stay an extra day. Well, we'll, we'll play it by ear. All right, so let's talk about what we have coming out today in these markets. You have the Mortgage Bankers Association number. They'll be out right about now. They should be coming out. You have the Conference Board's U.S. Uh, Online Help Wanted Index. China introduced formal curbs now for Korea and Japan, so they're going that game. Uh, investor retention is going to be square right on the consumer price data tomorrow. And the early reading is the markets are looking for the December headline annual inflation to fall about a half a point to 6.5% from 7.1% in November. API stockpiles came out last night. And look at the big build. That's pretty bearish if you take a look at what that market did. And this morning, we're going to get the EIA numbers, and they're nothing like that. I mean, nothing. It's like yin, yang. So we'll see which one's going to be accurate and where they think they can carry this one way or the other. But the important thing is you know that you're going to be looking at bank earnings. you got the CPI numbers. You can see the markets uh, come up. The question is, is this the beginning of something? I did my analysis this morning for my uh, morning subscriber videos, and I was trying to show them how many markets are overbought against upper Bollinger Bands, and it's a whole slew. It is the seventh day of the year for trading. People are coming in, they're trying to establish positions. The popular trades so far are to be long the euro, looking for the 110 level, still bearish on the dollar, thinking that the gold can get up to the 1900, 1950 area. This is what I'm reading that I'm seeing. Bonds and notes will continue to see falling interest rates and that the Fed has everything wrong and that we won't be going as high as they think on that. I'm not reading much of anything, frankly, here in the grains. I gave uh, today some ideas for getting long cotton if the market moves up from these levels right now, talking to the traders about that. I pointed out that, you know, when you drop as much as you did, a 66% price drop in that gas and you get sell signals, I, I like to just walk away from them. I'll call it a missed opportunity. And I go, shucks, I should have taken it, maybe I shouldn't. But I learned that from a, a trader many years ago, a guy named Mark Leibovit. I don't know if you know who he was, is, volume reversal trader. And Mark did teach me some interesting things, and he was explaining, you get those big moves, where are you going? That becomes your issue. You probably get yourself into more trouble than not. And those moves often come out in left field, and you're chasing them. The other thing I did today as we were looking in the markets, I, I was trying to show traders in my video what I thought of the market in terms of what? pivot points. So in my morning video, I opened one up, showed the traders what I looked at. I had the nat gas out. I was showing them why that all goes on and where they go with it. I'd like to show you that pivot point. It's really simple. Just go to our website, iraepstein.com, under free offers. There's a free course for you. It's videos. Just sign up for it. My staff will get it right to you, and away you go. It can't be easier than that. Barring all that, I'm my Rapstein. I'm hoping that you won't see me until Monday. You just never know. Now that the FAA has crowned all the flights, I have no idea. You know what? I'm going to go with the flow. You have yourself a great one. I hope to talk to you uh, while I'm gone. If I, if I have time, I will put out a video or two. We'll see what goes on. Trade well.